All right, I'm back with another video that I'm gonna do. And uh, because I just picked up the new M12 uh, Surge, I've really been wanting this since I saw it in MPS 19. So I thought I'd kind of do a little comparison between it and the, uh, the DeWalt 12 volt extreme screwdriver that I did a video on before. Um, so first question might be, why are you comparing a screwdriver with an impact? hydraulic driver. Um, the reason is, is because I kind of feel like these two tools kind of, kind of, kind of work within the same boundaries. Um, as compared to like the M12, um, Gen 2 impact driver, which is a super fast and super powerful. The M12 surge is a little more, um, you can feather the speed on it a lot better than the M12 uh, impact driver. And that's kind of what I have the DeWalt for, because it is a single speed, variable speed uh, trigger. You know, there's no extra settings. It's just really nice and easy to modulate how much power and speed you're putting into that fastener. And that's kind of what I found with the, the, the Milwaukee uh, Surge is it might be a nice combination between these two where I can still get some impacts for some bigger fasteners, but yet it's still quiet. Um, and not super loud like the Gen 2 impact driver. So um, I set up a little rig here. This is just a little thing I have with some hardware and these screws are like 5 eighths long and as you can tell comparison they're super tiny. And what I want to do is kind of show how, not how fast these are, but actually how slow they can be because I feel I don't see that very much and also what I'm gonna do is be comparing how much torque they're putting down um, this is a CDI calibrated torque screwdriver that can go between um, 5 to 40 inch pounds of torque so I kind of thought that'd be a kind of cool comparison to kind of show where this is clutching out at um, compared to the torque screwdriver and then how I can how easily am I able to use the M12 surge in a small fastener you know maybe this is your cabinet install where your latches or your hardware or your you know super soft brass screws might be coming into play so um, I thought I'd do a little go between the two because even though these might not see like a likely pairing, I kind of feel like they are. And I don't see a whole lot of videos where they're comparing apples and oranges, but yet they might have a similar function. So anyways, um, what I'm gonna do first, what should I do first? I'm gonna show a little bit where, how light this number one, how light the clutch is on the DeWalt and then kind of show how that compares to number one on the surge. So my torque screwdriver is set at five inch pounds. So I'm gonna screw this in until it clicks, just to see where five inch pounds is. And you'll hear the click, it'll click over. So you have to get all the way down into the wood for the five inch pounds to hit. Now, I'm gonna take the DeWalt on setting one on the clutch, you can see there, and see where it stops. Okay, so that doesn't even bury it. And that's not even five inch pounds, so that's, I can't measure it because my torque wrench doesn't go below five, my torque screwdriver inch pounds, so I can't really verify it, but let's take it up to setting two. Let's see where this will go down to. I'm gonna start on a new fastener so we get a fresh. Okay. 
So setting two, buried it, but it's not indenting the wood as much as the torque screwdriver did. So setting three. That's looking pretty similar between the five inch, I might have said foot bounce, five inch bounds versus number three on the clutch. So we'll do one more, setting four. Okay, let me see if that'll torque out. That's at least five. Okay, so that one turns. So four is at least five inch pounds. Clutch three is less than five inch pounds. So I'll stick with number three. Ah, I'll stick with number four because it at least gets us five inch pounds. Okay, so let's see where number four was. I'm gonna take this up a pound. Excuse me while I adjust this. Okay. Let's see where this turns. Okay, so that was about five and a half inch pounds on number four. So that's a good little test. All right, so now comparing that to the Milwaukee Surge on one. Now let's see where, now, this doesn't have a clutch, but I'm gonna see how easy it is to feather this tool to kind of match how light that clutch is on the DeWalt. Because as of right now, that's this is my kind of go-to for stuff like this, small hardware, consoling, that kind of stuff. Because that clutch can be so light and it's not gonna damage anything. So can this easily do that. Let's see if I can do it here. All right, here we go. Finger. All right. Nice. Okay. So let's see where that is. Let's take this, take this screwdriver, a torque screwdriver, to five and a half. Hold the knob out. Sorry if the camera works, I only have one hand here. Two hands, excuse me. Okay, so we're at five and a half pounds. Let's see where this is at. Oh, nice. Okay, so it got about an eighth turn in there before it clicked over. So pretty good little test. Let's see if I can get it closer to five pounds. Okay. How are we doing? Let me turn my light here. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Focus. Barely a turn. So that was pretty easy to tell when that started biting into the wood. And that's been my concern with the impact uh, unit, whether it's hydraulic or standard impact, is over torquing these and stripping them out. So. Here it ramps up there. Let's see what it does to the wood. Move it too close a little bit. A little bit of indentation there, but not too bad. Let's check it with my torque. Okay, we're above five and a half. So that's good to know. So with these, what is my point of this? I want something that can be a little bit more versatile 
a little faster than the DeWalt. Focus, come on, there you go. Um, actually, a little bit better of a tool. Like this, Milwaukee fuels are extremely well built. The fuel lines, the quality, the construction, everything is really, really great. It's better than the DeWalt, these extremes. Um, however, it's very light. The grip is very good. Um, I, I've made a video on this previously where I talk about all the stuff I like about it. Um, but I have mostly Milwaukee stuff. So adding one tool that has a special battery compared to everything else I have, Milwaukee, all the M18, all the you know M12 stuff I have, do I really want to add this? Even though I think it's almost purpose-built for this kind of stuff. Because you can just get your setting and you're just, you know... How fast can I install these two perfectly compared to these two perfectly between these two? Well, quite simply, okay, I'm done. Versus the surge, yeah, it's fast, but can I not screw it up? Pay attention here. Okay, let me ramp it up to two. I like two. Okay, now going back. And that'd be something typically uh, that's typical, you know? So let me tech, check with my. Uh, Screwdriver here, five and a half inch pounds. Yeah, that's bad lighting. Hold on a second. Focus. There we go. Slight turn. Barely any turn. Same. Barely any turn. or two. Now this is the surge. Same amount. Same amount of turn. A couple degrees there. And barely any turn. Um, yeah, so that was pretty consistent with what I was able to do with the surge quickly as compared with the DeWalt. However, with the DeWalt, I didn't think at all. I didn't even watch it. I just did it until the clutch hit and took over. Whereas with the Surge, you gotta pay a little closer attention, but you know, these little guys are in there. So I'm not here to say whether this tool is better than this tool. It's not my job. I wanna look at how consistent can I be and how easily can I be consistent with what I'm doing. Um, I think that once you know what your clutch setting is for that type of fastener, I think the DeWalt, if you like to use a clutch, can be very helpful. Um, but the Surge is very easy to feather compared to the, the Gen 2 impact right here. Um, that is very powerful, but whereas this is quiet, this is also quiet. However, this is quieter. Um, just, and it also is slower. You know, the trigger with going very light, and it's just different on the Milwaukee. Okay, it's. Okay, hold on. I'm trying here. There's nothing, and then. It's harder to do that on this one if you want to be very, very light. Whereas the DeWalt, I don't know, it's quieter. It's, it doesn't have to impact, especially for fasteners, screws this size. 
you don't need an impact. Like you probably need a screwdriver, really, if you want to get down to it. But if you want to have a tool, power tool, which one is the best one? I don't know. I really like the DeWalt a lot, but I think the Surge is probably a little more versatile. It can be faster for you're going between small fasteners and big fasteners. Um, this will get it done, um, but with the ability to have six amp hour on Milwaukee, um, I think that's a, a, a benefit. So I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of a toss up. I'm going to have to use both of them extensively and kind of see kind of what becomes my go-to. I don't know. I really like the surge. I like both of them. I mean, I'm keeping both of them, obviously. They're mine, but, um, I think this falls somewhere in between these two. Now, is this worth keeping with the, yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep it. Anyways. All right. So I just want to kind of show that just how well can the surge feather and kind of recreate the same type of, uh, light touch that the DeWalt screwdriver can do because that mechanical clutch is really light. You can't even, number one is not even five inch pounds. So that's pretty cool to know. All right. Well, that's about it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.